looking to improve your utilization of time or optimize uh, your team that you're working with, time management is the way to do this. And I'm going to show you some examples here that have worked and kind of talk a little bit about things that do work and can make a difference related to time management. So stay tuned. We'll get right to it. So the first thing is there are plenty of time management applications on the market. I think one of the easiest to use is called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L.com. And here in Toggle, you can just enter in your data and you know you can continue working on this task if you want to or whatever you're doing right and, and rename it, allocate it to customers. It's very, very insightful and allows you to view some reporting allows you to see exactly what you've done and how you've done it. You can also create time applications internally. This is an example um, that is using power apps within Microsoft 365. There's lots of versions of this where you can put in the time spent, your name, minutes spent, and enter notes, or it, it becomes very customizable, very easy to get to using your phone and such and so why do we want to do this well the reason why we want to do this is so that we can drive intelligence out of the data time management rarely for me has ever been about punitive things I, it's not that i'm looking for looking at a member of my team and they're only doing their paid to work eight hours and by golly i'm going to get eight hours out of them because you know the reality is that most people will work more more than eight hours, more than what you pay them, and and we don't even recognize it. What is most important to me is the utilization of their time. How effective with their time are they? And probably more important than that is how can I, as a leader, make that time um, easier for them? How can I optimize their time if I notice trends within the environment, how do I correct those trends? So I take a look and at different areas. Now, these are time where time is logged. Everybody is logging time into this and you can see where the priorities are. This happens to be an example from the Air Force, but you can see where, where time is being spent, the type of projects that are being worked on, the customers that are being helped, and as you go around, you can see the big initiatives, SIS, ServiceNow, um, A6, Execute, meaning we're executing, taking care of tasks. Notice here that scheduling is, hasn't even made it onto the pie chart, or email really hasn't made it on, or meetings haven't really made it on. And the reason why is because we counsel and coach the members of the team based on the time that they're allocating to do specific tasks. We don't want to do it in a punitive nature or a discouraging nature. What we want to do is motivate people to do better with their time. And we need to free that up. So for example, for me, if 60% or 40% of, of the time was being spent on email, then I need to look at how the staff is using email. Are they getting stuck in it? Are they unable to get to the bottom? Is it, you know, they work on email for an hour and then it takes the next four hours because it's just demoralizing experience to have to sift through email. Is, is that what's happening? Can I give them education or provide assistance to help them get through that email? Can I help them understand the difference between discovering the work that needs to be done and executing the work that needs to be done? And you can see that here, discovering and executing. Now this happens to be looking by project, then we have details that drill a little deeper as well. But here you can see they're spending about 8% of their time discovering what needs to be done, getting through that email, looking at uh, those chats and listening to those voicemails. And then they're spending 18% of their time actually executing, actually more than that when you kind of put into into all of these other projects that are being worked. So 8% is discovering and almost 90% is doing. And that's really the model that we want. If I notice that my calendar, that meetings are consuming their time, well then I wanna be able to stop that as well 
and say, hey, are those meetings being directed by leadership? Can we minimize those meetings? Can we reduce the number of people in the meetings? Can we have better agendas? All of those things, areas of improvement. So why is this so important? Because it allows you from a leadership perspective and from an individual perspective to really manage the way you use your time and to become more efficient. Look, at the end of the day, all of us want to feel accomplished. When we don't use our time wisely, it eats a little bit at us. And I know people say, oh, no big deal, but it does. It's, it's you know, like boiling a frog, right? The frog goes in and it's cold water. That's like us just, oh, well, we didn't quite do everything we could do for that day. Um, and it just eats away at us until finally that water is boiling, the frog is cooked, and we're feeling anxious and uptight and stressed because we know that we should be doing more with the time that we have and we may not be utilizing it the way we can. And so using apps like Toggle or even homemade apps, whatever it is that you do to track consistently but report on that time will be a benefit for you and for your entire organization.